Today we're building snow skis. I'm taking you from start to finish, from making the plug to the mold, to the actual snow ski itself. The reason I am building my own snow skis is right now they don't make a set of skis that can be used with a 26 to 29 inch tire. And I'm not a hardcore snow skier and I want to be able to go out and do some snow skiing, but I don't do it all the time. So I don't wanna do the rigmarole of changing the tire out, changing the skis out. I need a ski also that can be retracted. I don't wanna do wheel penetration or just straight skis because obviously I have pavement and I'm on an airport, so I can't do straight skis. And then the wheel penetration, I don't really like that because there's a lot of drag when you go to take off. And I wanna take my plane into some, maybe some gnarly places. So I want a straight ski. So the only way I'm gonna do that is a retractable ski. So that's what we're gonna be building today. I'm gonna to be showing you the whole process. But before we get into that, I wanted to say thank you to today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. It's a brand new game out there on your iOS, PC, and Android device. The reason I like this game is because it reminds me of the old RPG game. Stunning graphics and so many awesome characters. And now the highly anticipated Battle Pass is on. Season one is live and you can win awesome rewards, including free energy refills, gems, upgraded artifact sets, and a new epic and legendary champion by fulfilling the daily and weekly challenges. As you can find me in the game under the nickname Jonas Marcinko, go ahead, go download the game. The links are in the description. If you're a new player, you're gonna get 100,000 in silver and the new champion, Lightsworn. Thank you, Raid Shadow Legends, for sponsoring this video. Guys, go support them and download that game, and let's get to making these snow skis. First things first, we gotta make a plug. And you're thinking, well, what the hell is a plug? Plug is basically what your part is going to look like. And when I say part, I mean the snow skis. I got this two inch foam. I'm going to cut out shapes that I've AutoCAD CNC table, cut some parts out. Let's get to it. Whew. Goodness gracious, it's amazing. Patrick Swayze, hell. getting closer to hitting the snow guys with the kit fox. Ooh, it looks so good. So this is the plug, this is what I was talking about. Basically the plug is what the ski is going to look like and it looks so good. I am really excited to try this thing out. So uh, a little education on where I got here. Um, these nice radiuses and whatnot I did with joint compound and plaster for parts. Okay, next step, we have to protect this foam from polyester resin. Polyester resin is usually what you make the mold from. This is the plug. We're gonna be making a mold from this plug and you use polyester resin from that. Now, polyester resin will actually eat the foam. It will just disintegrate and turn this whole thing into goop. So you have to protect it from that. And how we're gonna do that, we're gonna do it with StyroShield from Duratec. This stuff is pretty sweet. Got it from uh, fiberglass. I will say I've seen my buddy use it. I've never sprayed it, but I tried spraying it last night with my makeshift uh, spray gun, I just drilled the nozzle out because you really do need a gel coat gun and I didn't order one and I'm kicking myself in the butt because I wish I had one. But anyways, we're gonna spray that on. After that's on, I'll do another super duper sanding thing and we'll just get this thing so buttery smooth and pretty looking that uh, basically the ski will look like whatever I make this. So if there's like a dot there, every single ski will have a dot. So we gotta make sure that this thing is like I could make it out of epoxy, but epoxy is super expensive and no one does that. So 
That's just a little education. Hopefully that all makes sense. I'm trying to make this quick and fun and whoa, whoa, bah. So here we go. Uh, makeshift paint booth, spray this Duratec Styro Shield on it, sand it smooth, and then start laying up a mold. Better than ever, a Kendall Jenner, take me to heaven. Shit. This is pretty ghetto, but I like it. Wax this side up. Um, oh man, that looks so good. Peel this off. Spray the PVA on this side, and we'll make the other side. Whew. This has been a lot of work. Holy shamoles, guys. Been a month in the working to get to this stage. Now we're gonna pop the mold off the plug. Now you're probably understanding what is what. This is the mold, the plug is underneath, and hopefully it's good. I think it's gonna have a couple imperfections that I'm gonna have to sand and whatnot. Did these for reinforcements. I went through two gallons of the polyester molding resin and a ton of these cups. These aren't even, what it was. We were doing it right here, but this whole place stunk up like completely. This is seriously like a summertime job doing in the shade outside. But it's too cold outside for this stuff to harden, so I made this little tiny booth that you guys saw. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna drill holes right now. This will secure the flanges. I'll just use Clecos. And then after that, my baby is gonna help me pull this thing off. Hopefully we can get it off. It's gonna be fun. This is a two-part mold, obviously. We're gonna try to get this side off first. The reason I did that is really hard to sometimes get um, molds off parts, and then also molds off plugs. So, get it up. Oh, shit. Babe, it's coming! It's coming right now? There it goes. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what is that stuff? Over there. Yay! Here it is. Now we gotta get the other side off. Maybe. Hey. 
is why it's really important to put a lot of PVA. Oh, ha, ha. Where's that little thing? Screwdriver. Nope. Well, maybe I didn't PVA it or wax it good enough on this side. I don't know. Ooh. Basically trash anyways, unless we want to hang it on the wall. Doesn't it feel bad how much you sanded this shit and now it's all broken? <laughs> yeah. That didn't work. There we go. Oh, we got it. Yes. That's so Good freaking job. cool. Fun, fun, fun. The build of the snow skis continues. We have thick stuff, thin stuff. We have stuff to mix it. It's oh, epoxy <laughs> mixed. We have the ski, which Jonas has been working for the last two months. Maybe it's been crazy, but he waxed it. He put the how, PVA. Yeah. And yeah, let's go. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Yeah, so I wanna take everything off and see what we did. Last we night. are so excited. This is a moment of truth. So basically for the very first time laying up this thing, it went good. It was a little hectic. Yeah. Definitely messed up. Didn't get the breather ply up onto the resin some places. We were rushing and we really didn't need to because this was a 20 minute cure. So we were thinking like we had to get this thing done so quick, but we probably could have waited and really Spent a little bit more time, even though we were freaking out. So, yeah, we were but now we know for next ski, but let's see if that's good. With this, it's like 125 bucks. Instead of buying the actual vacuum generator, you can pull a vacuum on a pretty big part just with your air compressor. And if you, once you pull a vacuum, you can close that valve and it'll keep that vacuum, but we had a leak, so we had to keep it open, keep that, keep the air compressor going. So it looks like it's coming up. Oh, I didn't really need to do two part mold. Maybe, we're gonna see. did like four layers and it's actually very rigid. Let's put it on the ground. Okay, so I made this for a 29 inch bush wheel. Oh, sweet. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool. I know. Like definitely once we put the bottom on it and it'll encase it, um, that it looks really sick, huh? But check it out. Ba -doom. So you can keep your 29 inch bush wheels on when you want to throw your snow skis on. You don't have to put little tiny tires, yeah. which is why I built this whole thing. And it is retractable. I have these um, retracts that we'll put here and uh, it'll retract back so you can land on pavement or dirt or whatever. And then when you want to land snow, it'll retract it back in. And uh, yeah. 
So, I think so sweet. we're gonna end this video here. Next video, we're gonna pull another ski and it's gonna be way better because now we know what we're doing. And uh, then we will go use them. So, hopefully we're gonna get this video edited, uploaded, and then I'll be building another ski. We'll get it on the Kit Fox, go test it. Hopefully it works, which I know it will. Yay! Um, yeah, 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 yeah. That's so sweet. That's so, sweet. so sweet. And I can't believe like, Love it. how I thought it was gonna be pretty weak. But this thing is really pretty rigid. Boy. Like, like it's really rigid. Like I think once you encase the bottom with the bolts and everything, and I will do some more structural to it, but that was a good test. So we yeah. kind of know what strength wise with how many layers and whatnot. So we'll cool. probably do more layers for the next one, but I'm really impressed with how it is. So awesome. Okay. Did a good job, babe. I want to thank uh, Fiberglass Connor over at Fiberglass. He seriously helped so much through this entire process. I was able to just give him a call up and ask for Connor. And he's like, yeah, do this, do this. You should do it like that. I could recommend this. So thank you, Connor. And uh, yeah, thank you to uh, the sponsor of the video too. So we'll see you guys on the next video with us <laughs> in the snow <laughs> skiing. <laughs>